next part. Like, hey, welcome to the next part of Shovel Knight. I stopped the recording there so I could... Oh, I'm mine, mine's just going. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, welcome to the next part of Shovel Knight. Fucking go on to the next bit. We can go redeem the meal ticket and give that minigame another go. Holy shit. What a concept. Oh my god. Hey, look, it's the bit just before I give up. Oh, there's such a Super Mario Bros. I suppose we get to fight Kratos in this version, I think. Oh yeah, because you're on the PS5. Yeah. The fucking Switch didn't get anything. You think they would have like let you fight Link or something? Or... Or Shantae. I don't know. I don't know. Like, work with Way Forward? Because these guys are former Way Forward devs. Ganondorf. Yeah, Ganondorf would work. And, uh, thank you. I think this is during Nintendo's, uh, kind of shit time, where... I mean, they, they were letting, really... they were letting, like, Bayonetta and all that use, um... Uh, like, doing, like, slutty Peach and slutty Samus. Yeah, because they fucking, like, bought the rights to... Yeah. Uh, Bayonetta. Oh yeah, I guess so. Some shit. I'll take it. I'm just gonna expand my health as fast as possible. And also, like, Nintendo's probably really elite is the bad where they're like, indie devs? Ugh! I mean, back then. <clears> this was like, no, but this game then. was synonymous with the Nintendo systems for a while. Because I think it was like, yeah. only, it was like PC and the Wii U, that was it. And the 3DS. Oh, and the 3DS, yeah. I don't think it came to PS4 or Xbox till later. Mm. We could go meet the Trooper King, but I don't really care about him. Yeah, the Forest of Phasing! Excuse me, sir. God, what a fucking- Oh no, Josh, we didn't make it. If only we had an item. Oh no! That we could use. Our Shovel Knight! He's broken! <laughs> we had an item that we could use. Nice save, Lachlan. Right. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. He did that on purpose to show off the item, right? Yeah. Right, Lachlan? <laughs> you fell this over, also, right? This is also a great weapon to, uh, sorry, a great item to, uh, see yourself in midair, and then just go, oh, thank god, I'm safe. Try it over a bottomless pit. I'm not sure if it kills your, uh, momentum, though. Uh, ah, Christ, kills me. Fucking... Don't worry, it's fine. It's part of the charm. No, it's, it's... not fine. What the fuck? Yeah, mate. Okay. Yikes! Spikes. There you go. There's your fucking Spikes. title. No. It's so boring. You're boring. If this video is called <laughs> "Yikes Spikes," we've officially run out of ideas. Uh, we ran out of ideas the moment we started a fucking Let's Play channel. What? Yeah. You might want to fuck it. Oh my god! <clears throat> anyway, talking about what we were talking about last part, about pornography now. Okay. God, no. No more. No more. That was a Doctor Who reference for those who were, uh, you know, not socially inept like me. Josh, no! <laughs> we'll get to the Doctor Who Let's Plays eventually. Eventually. Just stares into the camera. Looks at the Discord chat I made to her trying to uh, get everyone on board for it. <laughs> no. Acting. <laughs> I was acting. Like, I do not care for Far Cry at all as a franchise, but getting, um... Galant, whatever his fucking name is, the really cool actor, Giancarlo Esposito. That's his name. Getting him to do all the promo for it was such a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we had our fun with Far Cry 5, but uh, I don't see us actually hitting up 6. I don't want to support point. Ubisoft at the moment, so... Well, not just because of that, but because the game itself just looks kind of eh. It looks like Far Cry 5, but worse. I, th I think um, part of the charm of Far Cry 5 is the fact that we were beating up rednecks. Yeah. And hey, we're beating Plus up rednecks just rednecks funny. is an American pastime. It was funny uh, as well to just have the song "Take Me to Church" playing the entire time. I mean, we—I—I I, I wouldn't be surprised if you and I decided to do a Far Cry Five LP on the channel at some point. Yeah. But um, we'd probably have to do like a split perspective thing, which will be sure, annoying yeah. as hell. But oh, you know, no, we're already testing a split. But we were already testing out a split perspective with um with Halo, which is already out. So probably. 
Unless we abandon the Halo roleplay. Mm, I don't. I don't think so. Remember, we reference we reference Jedi Fallen Order, and that's unfortunately fallen through. Yeah, like fallen through. I want to at least upload that as a clip. I think. That's like I a mean, short. that's fine. Like the. I mean, to be fair, I, I, do you know what I think we should do? And of course, you know, talking about uh, ideas for videos on in a video is probably not the best idea. But hey, whatever. It gives everyone an insight on how we work, I suppose. Deep that's how I'm gonna. Yeah. Uh, no, but um, we what we could do is we could probably just have like a compilation video of like moments from um cancelled LPs, can cancelled LPs, which is just like a, a little clip show of just shit that happened. Yeah. You know, we 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 we've canned LPs for a few different reasons. Uh, yeah. Usually, it's you know either the game gets a bit too frustrating for us, and it's like, well, if we're getting if we're getting upset at the game, and it's just not and it's not funny. Or technical difficulties. You know, Technical Jedi. difficulties is a big one, um, and in some cases as well, like we just get, we just don't feel it really. Sometimes our commentary just kind of goes, eh, well, whatever. That's uh, why and we stopped I, I injustice, the, which was a shame. I think the other other thing with um, with Fallen Order as well was the fact that we took a huge fucking break between recording sessions because of just multiple different reasons, and yeah. as a result, we kind of just when we got back to it, we were just not really feeling it. But um, there was there was Spider-Man for PS4 as well, which we kind of canned for quite a few different reasons. Yeah. Um, which you know had quite a few really funny moments, but uh, because of how long of a game it is and how repetitive the game can be at points outside of just the main story. Um, yeah. It's one of those games where I think if we did revisit it, we'd have to cut down a lot of uh, faff, which isn't really our style to begin with. Yeah, a lot of this is meant to be just like uncut playthrough, with like some cutting obviously for like, I don't know, last part is probably going to have a fair few cuts. But... Yeah. But like, we, we usually put back in the stuff we need to, we need to be aware of the cuts in advance and be like, okay, yeah. so we've died here a few times, we will know, we know, we'll make note to ourselves during the commentary that, you know, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking, uh, I'm calling it a commentary now. Here. Make it sound like we're a YouTube channel from like 2010. Well, you know what I mean. Like when, when we're talking, <laughs> when we're talking, we uh, we make note basically yeah. and say, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna cut here, so don't say anything funny until later." You know. Mm. And then we don't say anything funny later either, uh, either because we're just not funny. But you know. Yeah, that's just the, that's just the, the nature of the Britain flip. Essentially, what this is is it's just a conversation between us two, but like we we talk yeah, to an invisible internet. third person. Yeah. yeah. We talk to you! Future me, put just like an arrow pointing towards the screen. Whoa. It's just like a fucking flat line because yeah. it's pointing directly at the screen. <laughs> God. I can't see it. Yeah, because it's 2D and it's pointing towards the screen. What did you expect? Damn, I was hoping that would work. Uh, you, come down here. You, come here. Come here. Like, come on. I know we cancelled. We did a Mega Man 2 thing at one point, and that one kind of just fell through for the sake of just. It was outdated by the time we were about to upload it. Yeah, um, and the fact that like, I didn't really want to um, uh, upload a Mega Man 2 LP, because, like, everybody does a Mega Man 2 LP. There's nothing we could have added to that conversation. I know we've got Luigi's Mansion 1 as well, and we were planning on doing that for like Halloween, but again, that's just another thing that just fell through for the sake of scheduling. That and the fact that uh, everybody does Luigi's Mansion on Halloween. Again, same problem. I mean, it doesn't matter. I know, but that was one- oh my fucking god, I can't believe it. I got killed by the It'd bastard. be funny if you killed him with that. At the end. Yeah, I know, right? He just fucking evaporates and just like, gee, thanks! <laughs> I think one that's a miracle that we haven't fucking scrapped is Colors, which will be out by now, because that one yeah. <clears> sat <throat> in our uh, archives for a solid, like, fucking two months. Yeah, we recorded that, like, three months, months, sorry. like, a week after the game came out, I want to say. Less than that. It was during the it was during the pre-release. Did we actually? Yes, because we wanted to do it before an update came out. So it yeah, was where... within the pre-release. Wow, well, where are souls? But so actually, yeah, by that we... point, then I wouldn't have played the PS4 version. So yeah, that checks out actually. Hmm. I mean, we do say a disclaimer in the video and say, "Hey, this isn't uh, this is the unpatched version because you know pre-release." But yeah, I was originally going to do that for when I was playing BDSP. I was just going to be like, "Yo, um, playing this unpatched," but then I realized without the patch, I'm literally playing an incomplete video game. 
just fucking hilarious to me. Alright, let's beat up an yeah. old man. God, what else have we, uh, scrapped that we haven't? Yeah. Uh, I believe Because this is, this is essentially <clears throat> just turning into the behind-the-scenes podcast episode now, so yeah. whatever. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Um, I mean, before we, before we turned into Britain Foot, we did have a Katamari and um, Wind Waker LP. Yeah, but I mean, as Britain Foot, not necessarily yeah. as uh, before. <clears throat> Didn't we? Transition. Yeah, we started, we started in Justice. I think we started... We, yeah, um, we, we started in Justice uh, oh, for 1, but sake. the problem... The problem with Injustice is that because it's a fucking fighting game, most of our commentary <laughs> devolved into us just going, Hey, you hit him. <laughs> the, the animation yeah. for you hit him. I literally just kept kicking funny. every fucking guy in the shins, and it worked, and I was just like, okay. It kind of just became, oh, right. It's just I was like bitching about the DCEU and laughing about fucking yeah. fighting animations. So, it's like, ah, oh, yeah. cool. Maybe we could bitch about the DCU and something else, probably. Uh, and I mean, Arkham, we probably will. At some point. But that's the thing, like, I think because we're still kind of growing our uh, wings. For so fuck's sake, I hate knockback so fucking much. And I don't have the fishing rod to fish that shit out. Ugh. Yeah, you're fine. Thank God there's no fucking life system. Yeah, I know. Dude, that's the one archaic thing they didn't bring back for this, and I'm surprised they didn't. Mm. Yeah, They definitely upped their level design game, though, when it came to um, the DLCs. Yeah. Also, I will still always push, push this game as, like, the reason why, like, games like Sonic Mania didn't need that fucking paid DLC thing. This shit yeah. fucking kickstarted, and it did such a better job. Oh my fucking god. Cut. No, we'll keep it rolling. Why not? Again, this is, uh, this I might is as well just get back to where you were. Yeah. I mean, if it's a long thing, like, this is two seconds. Yeah, and... but it gets rid of some guff. Yeah, I guess it gets rid of fighting this chump. See you, chump. Alright, there we go, we're back. And... What the hell? You just took that guy's pizza. I think another thing that we, uh, I could mention that we have also... I, I, I wouldn't say scrapped, but it's something that just never really came into fruition, despite how many times we've tried, was the, uh, podcast that we wanted to do. I mean, this um... show originally started as a podcast. Yeah. And that, like, we, we wanted to do the Let's Plays and a podcast on the side, as well as like streaming and shit. And we kind of just went, well. It's Our kind plan of was to essentially do Caravan of Garbage, but no. not Australian. Well, half Australian, yes. Yeah. But oh, for we, fuck's we, sake. No, I no, think, no, no, I no. Think, no. Oh. Oh. I think we kind of just realized that uh, the LPs are essentially just a podcast in disguise. Yeah. Case in point, For instance, this I don't think we've mentioned anything about this fucking game or this level in this I mean, I've been yelling part. at it. Yeah, I would say that. Plague Knight's level is just fucking annoying. Because again, this is where they start introducing, like, bits where, like, the knockback starts to be very apparent. And the phase locket becomes pretty much mandatory. So, like, oh no, it's Gooigi. Oh my god, you're right. Oval Knight. Oh, we're gonna have to do Luigi's Mansion 3 at some point, eh? Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't mind doing 3, because Let's Plays of 3 are very sparse in terms of, like, our format. Like, the only one I could think know of is, like, think... the Super Mega one. Honestly, do you wanna know what I'd like to do? If we do get the chance to meet up again at some point, mm -hmm. I think we should do a co-op run of, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Yeah, that'd be fun. Because I, I don't think it is co-op, that... is it? It is, it's got- you can play as Luigi. Oh, cool. That'd be fun. That won't be happening for a long time, though, unfortunately. Oh yeah, for sure, but it, yeah, that's the thing, I, I I would like to do more local carb stuff because I feel like our dynamic would suit that so fucking well, but yeah. unfortunately we are on the uh, literal opposite sides of the planet to one another. Yeah. And then you had to go make it even more literal. I can move into Florida to be with your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Sim. Alright, oh, there we go. Oh, wait, we're not on Twitch. I was supposed to say we're on Twitch, I can't say that, but we aren't. Get yeah, fucked, Bezos. Yeah. Susan, hit me up. Right. No. Hey, can I do this Feel on one HP? Feel free Britain Flip Twitch, which will never have any fucking, uh... Yeah. You know, streams on it at this point. The fruits of my research are no me. Treachery! <laughs> Remember when Plague Masks were an aesthetic for a short while? Uh, yeah. 
the Jim Sterling effect. I'm surprised Plague Masks didn't, like, uh, make a huge comeback during the, uh, pandemic. Yeah, I know, right? Those explode, right? Alright, kill me, thank you. I don't know if those explode anymore. Um... They might when you, uh, like, if you hit them. Yeah, and you know what? The Bouncy Ball's probably really good for this bit. Yeah. Look at that. That, that. Oh, yeah. All coming together. Oh, I suppose another thing as well that we uh, kind of half scrapped was a uh, so, uh, the Sonic One playthrough at this point. Uh, depends if it's still up or not. Because we're we're kind of in two minds about that one. I think that's one that we'll keep in a playlist, but we won't um, keep it public. Nah, get, Similar to the Astro, for no, Astro's play. For no reason. So that's Deep Owls, but I know that's technically the first group play. But... It might as well be, even though it's not live. Yeah. I also want to do more uh, Brit versus Flip at some point, but it's it's hard to find games that have good enough net code for. Yeah. Again, <clears> opposite <throat> sides of the planet. Like that's that's the thing. Our, our fucking. Um... Dude, we're playing on top of Minecraft bedrock texture right now. <laughs> our. Sake, I'm not about to fucking um... lose, am I? I am. No, you might get it. Chuck your fucking. Oh no, you can't. Yeah. I'm not I don't gonna... have any left. Oh wait, I had enough. Fi I had enough for two fireballs. Oh. Oh, all right. Let me do it one more time. And yeah, this is why uh, I I like to play my games prior, but like this was pretty spur of the moment, so we just like, fuck it. Like how he's always behind yeah. you. That's a nice touch. Oh my, one more shindeiru. Nanu. Also, he accounts for the fact that your dominant strategy is most likely going to be using the pogo on him. Because look, he hits me every time I go up. Oh dear. I also like how whenever an explosion goes off, the background lights up. Yeah. That's really nice. Oh. Oh, I'm out. No, 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 no! You're not out. Come on. Mm. You fucking. Not even that big a deal. Like, oh, even you don't even have to do that. In these days. I guess Crash Bandicoot kept lives going as well. Like, that was optional. Well, uh, yeah, it was an optional thing in Crash Four. That's like, yeah, yeah, that's how it fucking should be. Like the fact that like, generate. Uh, I, I did a replay of uh, Generations. Yeah, hey, hey, got nice him. One. I did a replay of Generations not too long back because of it being 60 frames on Xbox. Yeah. And um, it was really annoying because I like to do dumb shit in Sonic games that will absolutely cause me to get killed. Like um, just for the yeah. yeah, just to experiment with, like, you know, speed. And also, to be fair, the Xbox version is incredibly fucking buggy and got me killed so many times. And it's just it's just annoying to get game overs and have to start from the beginning of a stage and it's like, oh, right, okay. Three thanks. And then you look at Mario Odyssey, which, you know, you die in that and you just lose a few coins and go back to the checkpoint. So, yeah, yeah it's perfect. Oh. There's a man. Let's go fight him. Fuck him up. Let's fuck him up. Boo-boo. Is this guy from another game? Mm, no idea. Like, this, Let me have a look. Like, Shovel Knight's just outside that era where like every fucking indie character crossed over into other games. Like uh, Dust had like a little tavern where you could meet like the boy and the guy from I Want to Die and all that kind of shit. Oh, they're from something called Show Showdown. Oh, is that another game by them? I think Are so. Or? No. I love this music, though. Ooh. No, it first appeared in another indie title called Valdis Story. Oh. Oh, God, he's got a fire shield. I don't know. Yeah. One thing I've really got to remember is that the normal sideswipe exists. Because I, I rely way too much on the bogo. I like damage dealing. Just because mm. it's faster. Got him. Look at that. 
Oh, when it says showdown, it means Shovel Knight showdown. Oh, okay. It was a villain. God. Yeah, I think he's the first one you find, and then it's the big grizzly guy, and then I think it's Kratos in the Battletoads. Oh, Music. Give me a second, I want to look this up properly, because I feel like I'm not getting proper information here. Go. Oh, okay. So, um, this character was, um... Fucking apparently, like, an add a character of your creation into the game Kickstarter bonus thing. Oh! I think, by the looks of what some people are saying. So it's the absorbal off of Shovel Knight characters, got it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, there's somebody in the comments that'll probably, like, it, it doesn't seem too clear from what I'm reading, but like, somebody will probably be like, oh no, it's, it's this. I remember. They, they've appeared in a few other uh, games, like, they had a cameo in, like, Cross, co uh, cross Code, apparently, but... Okay. I Maybe can't it's just get, one... like, a... Maybe it's just one random guy who's, like, um, donated to a bunch of Kickstarters, now he's character in, like, a bunch of games. In which case, I mean, props to them. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know why on OBS my fucking mic just decided to peak for no reason, but I'm gonna assume it was my fan or something. Maybe. So you're gonna have to do a little audio editing there. Have fun with that. Oh, anyway, sure, thanks. Or the scroller. Yeah. But I mean, this is just a money level, so like, I'm not too upset. Ah, so it's the fucking end of classic mode and Smash Ultimate. Got it. Yeah, pretty much. You know what? If they did give, if they did put Shovel Knight and Smash, this should be like his. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck I think was that? Was... that? I think that might have been the Elgato. Did that show up on your OBS as well? Yeah, it did. Oh, that new OB, uh, that new Elgato is doing you great, huh, mate? Yeah. Shit, that's also so fucked with the sound. You got. Might have done. Do you want to restart? Either way, yeah. Either way, uh, I'll probably end off the part there, because we're probably about 20 minutes in by this point. So yeah, join us next time, where we probably take on... Which one's this one? Treasure Knight. You there? Yeah.